Speaker TV. I've been DJing since I was 15, but not professionally until my first interstate show was when I was 16 in Sydney, and it all went from there. Lately I've been doing the festivals in Melbourne. Um, some of my best gigs have been here at uh, Global Gathering. It was really cool. Everyone was just up for it, and like I think the, the crowd in Melbourne's really, uh, they get really excited and into it, and I always look forward to playing here now. I recently just got back from playing in the Trans Energy in Holland and I played on the main stage there to about 20,000 people which was quite, um, it was cool, it was like on the main stage it was myself, Armin Van Buren, Paul Van Dyke, John O'Callaghan uh, so that was, you know, quite an experience to be able to play on, uh, with a lineup that, that impressive and um, I got to, you know, see a bit of Holland and just uh, meet a few people guys like Armin and Tiesto playing these tracks to thousands of people and you know if you rewind time when you watch that and you rewind and you go that was I was sitting in a room like on my own just making this little idea and then it's turned into this and you see all these people just going crazy and that's what drives me and yeah. that's that's why I'm that's what I'm in it for man like you know to bring make something bring new. Love to the people through the sound. <laughs> okay I guess yeah <laughs> be creative and watch something grow it's cool. Production, it's, uh, it's going really well. Like, um, I'm in the studio about five days a week. I signed my first track to Amada about two years ago, and then it's been going from there, but I'm um, just as excited about production as I am DJing. I think there's something, you know, it's cool to play other people's tunes, and that's what DJs do, and you know, you're, you're, you're getting a bunch of tunes and going, this is my style, this is what I like, but it's a step further to, to write something that never existed before. <laughs> A lot of people go to me, why do you play trance, you know, it all sounds the same. It's, and for me that kind of approach is like saying to someone who drinks red wine, you know, how do you drink these different red wines, they all taste the same. But if you're a, if you're a connoisseur and you're, you're a red wine drinker, you know the difference between a, a wine that's come from a particular vineyard or you go, I like this Shiraz because it's got this bite, or I like this Merlot because it's smooth, and that sounds really stupid. But no, the, dude, that's the best analogy I've, I've heard. And, and, you, and you know, like you, you say to people, oh, look, look, wine all tastes the same, or beer all tastes the same. But you know, if you if you if that's your life and you really enjoy that, you it's the subtle differences yeah. that, that make something so good. My album is coming out. Little plug for my album, buy it. No, it's called Look Closer. It's got 15 tunes on there. And one of the tracks, the first single is called Foolish, and uh, one of the singers, Keisha, is fantastic. And she's a folk singer. She she was just playing acoustic kind of stuff and folk music. And I stumbled across one of her songs through a friend, and it was just her playing a guitar, just like sitting there singing this folk song. And I was listening to the lyrics, and I was like, that's really cool. Like you know, it's quirky, and I can't imagine that in dance music. Let's do it. And yeah. so, like, wrote a dance track and we got her to come in the studio and sing this part and it's just, like, I don't know, it's not a pop song, it's not a trance song, it's not a house song, it's got a beat, it's like a, I don't know, it's just a, it's, a cool, it's, a, it's cool though, you know, and yeah. I'm really excited to have that as the first single as well because it, it isn't like what people would expect. Hey, I'm Tidy and you're watching Speaker TV. Good TV.